Queens, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Yes, guys, a very big congratulations to Bella as she has signed another mouthwatering deal with Royal Hairs. Yes, guys. So some few minutes ago, she was announced by Royal hairs as one of their brand ambassador a very big congratulations to her i'm happy for her i can see her elder sister's hand in this because her elder sister has been very very instrumental in her success yes guys i'm super super happy for her first it was fastest cakes and then the video vixen self with ruga and now bella is a brand ambassador for royal hair a very big congratulations to her now that being said a lot of you has been asking about brian well brian let us know via his instagram page i'll be sorry his twitter page rather that he has been in the studio cooking some music for us don't forget that his birthday is this friday so i cannot wait for all the things that brian is about to give us i mean if he doesn't give us how are we going to take it yes guys now away from all that so if you're not an open-minded person i think at this point, you had better mute this video because I'm going to say some things that you might not like. But you know, it's in it, I will say it as it is. So, um, it's we all agree that Twitter is the modest of the modest. Like, Twitter is the place the most toxic app on the internet if you ask me yes guys and big brother niger twitter has got to be like the bottom of all the bottom because there you'll find a whole lot of hypocrisy a lot of toxicness things that will basically you know spoil your day and today i'm going to be focusing my torchlight on the fans of fina the fee nations and in this season of Big Brother, I like to say this without any water in my mouth. This is the worst fan base in the history of Big Brother this season. Yes, Fee Nations are the worst fan base. And I'm going to tell you why. Like, I've seen fans drag their face, but I have not seen fans drag their fave every market day. Like, they think they are powerful. Don't get me wrong. I love Fina. You all know I love Fina, but I'm not part of this fan base. No, but these people think they are powerful. But all I see are a bunch of people who are afraid of being dragged. They are afraid of their faith making a mistake. They feel like their faith is not capable of thinking for herself. They feel like her, their faith is not capable of making her own decisions. So every time they control her decisions, every time they try to, you know, like um, bring their own opinion that that is what Fina must do. Like I've watched these people hold um, 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 a Twitter space for almost six to seven hours, all because of Fina. I mean, I've seen these people drag Fina left, right and center. Even at the time I'm making this video tonight, they are still dragging Fina. Why? Because Fina wore or Fina posted this particular picture where she wore this set of joggers. I don't know what you guys call it. And initially, Fina tagged Groovy's collections, which is the um, Groovy's um, business page. And later on, because of the dragging, she had to like change it to Fee Nation because apparently, according to them, this was part of the gift they gifted Fina. Now, earlier on today, Fina made this video where she tagged also the... Um, um henry groovy collection which is groovy's business now this is not the first time tina is tagging groovy's business i remember when groovy started with his sales i think 50 percent sales or something like that she also tagged you know reposted a b and um, posted it on her instagram story and this people dragged fina for it now I don't understand what kind of fan base this is. Fina will wear something, they will drag her for it. Fina will make her friend her PA, they will drag her for it. Fina will dance, they will drag her. Fina will not dance. In fact, see, you guys will think that 
other fan bases, fan bases, maybe Beauty's fans or Brian's fans or Groovy's fans are the ones that are always dragging Fina wrong. Those ones drag Fina a lot, but I tell you from my experience, it's actually her fan base that drag her a lot. I mean, who needs a fan base like that? Yes, they might have the numbers, but they are the toxic of the most toxic fan base this season because I don't get it. Like, what is their problem with Fina posting or tagging Groovy? Like our oh, Groovy's business is not even Groovy. They are saying, oh, um, after everything, that Groovy is not showing that he loves Fina, that Groovy is not reposting, that Groovy is what? Wait, is it not the same Groovy that came out of the house and was shouting Fina, 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 Fina? The, 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 the agenda then was, oh, he wanted to be part of the 100 million. Now, okay, oh, he has gone private with her and she is the one maybe reciprocating all that love that he showed her when he got out. All of a sudden, Fina is saying, Mumu. These people calls their fave Mumu on the timeline. Like, it's almost as if they don't have a community. They don't have a WhatsApp group. They are always divided. What kind of fan base is this? I've had it up to here for me to even make this video to tell you i'm pissed i'm pissed on behalf of fina because ah it's high time fina calls the people to order because this is rubbish how can you be like ah, ah this is why i love tacha i remember when it's um some titans were moving mad tata came on the timeline and i think she went on an instagram live or something and told them see if you cannot support me understand me it's best it's high time fina tells them understand her yes you voted for her you chose her as your fave she did not choose you it's not the other way around fina nation abifi nations are the worst fan base and until i see better from them they want you know basically they want people to drag them so yeah i'm giving them the opportunity to be dragged because this is rubbish fina is an exceptional girl but the way i'm seeing it her fan base is going to be her undoing why do they feel the need to control her private life why do they feel the need to tell her what to do oh don't post good is it your business like look at okay let's do statistically all the ladies that have gone through big brother how many of them are in a very tight relationship at this moment let's be honest all those ones that have been listening to fans here and there your place as a fan is to support. I keep saying this. Support their deals. Make brands know them. Your place as a fan is not to control their lives. Don't control your faith's life for crying out loud. Who are you to tell her who to date and who not to date? Who are you as a fan to do that? You do not have any right whatsoever to tell your faith who to date or who not to date. Forget that you are giving them iPhone Pro Max, I be iPhone 14 Pro Max, you are giving her 5 million. You can keep the 5 million for yourself because for me, I just feel this is rubbish. Yeah, because yes, I'm saying it with my full chest. Like how? You are in your own house, in your husband's house. Nobody is telling you to oh, leave your husband. You are with your own boyfriend or nobody is telling you, okay, oh, leave your boyfriend. Who told you that she cannot have a meaningful and healthy relationship and still have a beautiful career? Why is it that we always subject this ex big brother and Jai housemate to always focus on brands? And years later, when the boss has died down, they will just be lonely, moving from one man to the other. I'm not saying that that is what happens, but I mean... How many of them are in really in a meaningful relationship? Why can't you let them? You see, I think this is one of the disadvantages of having a big fan base because everybody feels like they have an opinion in your life. And I think at this point, Fina should stop apologizing. Why is she always re-editing? Why is she always apologizing? Why is she always playing to their gallery? At this point, it's annoying. She should not. Ah, uh -uh. what is it? Every time you people, you are always saying, oh, it's beauty fans. Beauty fans only drag Fina fans because you people give them the opportunity to drag her. I mean, why would a stranger not insult your daughter, your brother, when you have already insulted your brother, your, your, your sister in the presence of a stranger? Or you are just telling to the stranger, you know what? You are free to insult them. There's an adage in my place that says, I mean... I don't know if it's an adage. Basically, it's saying if you insult your sister or disgrace your sister on the street, if a stranger does it, what mouth will you now use to tell the stranger to stop? Like, I saw them today and I'm like disgusted. I think what even pissed me off more was the fact that they are telling her, oh, this groovy, is it your groovy? And I think that most of these people are maybe frustrated people that their relationship did not work. That's why they are bringing it out on this poor girl. 
Some even said, oh, uh, Bella is very focused though. Bella is what's promoting her brand and all that, unlike our own faith that's focusing on man. So, Vina that is maybe in Abuja now is focusing on man. No. No, this kind of fan base, eh, God forbid. Bam, 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 bam. I've been watching different fan bases, and for me, Fina fans has got to be the worst of the season. I mean, I've never seen this kind of... Even Licorice fans never dragged her like this. Never. Tacha's fans held their peace because when they knew that Tacha was, you know... Even Messi's fans, self. I remember them when Messi and Nike were doing their love. They never dragged Messi like this. They were be, even when they were like, oh, Messi, why are you still with this boy? They did not. Rather, they were channeling all their annoyance on, uh, on Ike. Groovy's fans, have you ever seen them drag Groovy for their relation, for this relationship? They are dragging Fina instead. I don't know if they understand the concept of being a fan. You are meant to protect. Look at the likes of Nikki. Look at the likes of Cardi B. These people will literally, not just relationship right now, they will literally insult Fina, call her a fool, call her mumu for maybe saying that she's not refined. In fact, why are they even angry when other people call her classless? Because they are the ones that call her classless first. Omo, my, my Omo has been Omo because I've never seen this kind of fan base in the history of Big Brother. I know that fan bases, what they do is to defend their own, but Fee Nation, nah. They drag their own to the mud first, frustrating the girl. And see, at this point, if Fina comes out again to apologize to them, I'll really, really be cross with her because this isn't what fan bases is all about. Like, don't they have a WhatsApp group I thought fans used to have like a special place they would go and table their matter. Abi, but this ones, airing their dirty linens on the outside, that's what they know how to do. So with this few points of mine, I put it to you all that we have gotten the worst fan base this season, the bottom barrel of fan bases, and that is the Fee Nation. You are free to counter this with your own points, but from everything I've seen, <laughs> I don't think any other fan base in this season comes close. On that note, guys, I say thank you all so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZNA Williams.